Okay, well, I'm going to read our memory verse from this week. It says, And the Lord said, You pity the plant for which you did not labor, nor did you make it grow, which came into being in a night and perished in a night. And, you, and should not I pity Nineveh, that great city in which there are more than 120,000 persons who do not know their right hand from their left, and also much cattle. Uh, welcome to the Mount this morning. Um, we are... Um, existing to display the glory of God's grace in Jesus Christ by proclaiming him to all peoples for their everlasting joy in God. And we're very glad you're here this morning. Um, I'm George Marshall. I'm one of the pastors here. Um, if you're a guest, um, please go ahead and fill out one of these cards in front of you. Just ask for a little bit of information so that we can reach out to you, let you know how glad we were um, for you to be here this morning. Um, we do have some announcements um, to make you aware of. Uh, first, um, if you are a guest, restrooms, even if you're not a guest, but if you're a guest, you probably don't know this, the bathrooms are not in this building. They are through um, into the next building and to your left. Um, you can, of course, give your tithes and offerings in boxes in the front, in the back, and online. You can use the QR code, or you can just go to themountchurch.com. Um, as well, there's a closed closet, so if you know anybody who has a need or you would like to get involved in serving in that ministry, I'm sure they would be glad for help, but they meet 9 to 11.30 a.m. on Saturdays. So Sunday, we have word and prayer. Um, so we had that this morning. We were going through uh, Jeremiah, the first part of Jeremiah 5, uh, but you're invited to join us next week and every Sunday morning at 9.40 a.m., and we do that in the educational building uh, where the youth meet. Uh, Mondays in June, July, you can see this in the upcoming events in the bulletin, uh, but Mondays in June and July, the youth are going to be meeting with Jonathan Fox. They're highly encouraged. Yeah, the boys. Yeah, the guys. Yeah. <laughs> youth dudes, it says. I don't really use that word very often. So anyway, but they're going to meet Jonathan Fox at Grand Central Station Disc Golf Course from 9 to 1030 a.m., and so you should bring discs if you already have them. Uh, Wednesday's regular youth meetings will resume in July at the pool. So through June, they won't be having the regular meetings. Today, we have Sing Thing at 6 p.m. You'll want to come and join us as we sing and as you hear uh, Jonathan bring us a message from Psalms. Uh, June 25th is a member's vote on the budget amendments we discussed in our members meeting uh, last week. And then that day, we will also have a family lunch, um, a summertime picnic, and you should join us for that. There'll be a church-wide potluck meal uh, following the morning service. And we'll, do we already have sign-up sheet available? So it's already available on there, and I'm sure we'll have something electronically out as well on Slack. June 26, the Youth Gals craft time from 9.15 to 10.45 a.m. And then maybe we jump a little bit to July 2nd. Men and Women's Combined Summer Book Study begins. Um, so if you didn't already get into an order, go ahead and make sure you get that book. It is Strange New World um, by Carl Truman. Yeah, we're looking forward to that. I'd encourage you, go ahead and get reading that once you get it. Um, that way you're already a little bit ahead of the game as we get into then conversation. Um, and feel free to invite other people. You know, bring it. It's a, it's a great way of engaging um, more than just learning about it. It's a great way for people to be um, introduced to how a Christian worldview matters and makes sense. So with all of that, I'm, I'm done with my announcements. Um, I'm going to call up Indrajit. He's going to give our call to worship this morning. Good morning. Thank you for joining us this morning. Today's scripture reading is from uh, Exodus chapter 34, verses 1 through 9. Uh, the Lord said to Moses, cut for yourself two, ta two tablets of stone like the first, and I will write on tablets the words that were on the first tablets which you broke. Be ready by the morning, and, I, and uh, come up in the morning to Mount Sinai, and present yourself there uh, to me on the top of the mountain. No one shall come up with you, and let no one be seen throughout all the mountain. Let no flocks or herds graze opposite that mountain. So Moses cut two tablets of stone like the first, and he rose early in the morning and went up on Mount Sinai. And the Lord had commanded him and took in his hand two tablets of stone. The Lord descended in the cloud and stood with him there and proclaimed the name of the Lord. The Lord passed before him and proclaimed the Lord, the Lord. A God merciful and gracious, slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love and faithfulness, keeping steadfast love for thousands, forgiving iniquity and transgression and sin, 
but who will by no means clear the guilty, visiting the iniquity of the fathers on the children and the children's children to the third and the fourth generation. And Moses quickly bowed his head toward the earth and worshipped, and he said, If now I have found favor in your sight, O Lord, please let the Lord uh, go in the midst of us, for it is a stiff-necked people, and pardon our iniquity and our sin, and take us for your inheritance. Let us pray. Father, we are so thankful to you that your anger has lasted only for a lifetime, but your anger has lasted only for a moment, but your favor has lasted for a lifetime. Uh, even though we have wept through the night, but your joy, our joy has come in the morning in the form of your bright morning star which lights every man. God, um, please create in us a clean heart and please renew in us a steadfast spirit so that we may experience the joy of your salvation this morning. And um, God, um, the works man is worthy of his meat. Therefore, um, please uh, bless Pastor Brian with all the rest that he, that he needs as he goes on the sabbatical. Uh, God, please bless us as a congregation to exhibit the fruits of the Spirit so that more and more people will be influenced by us and they may see our good works and glorify you who are in heaven. Uh, I pray to you in Jesus' name. Amen. <laughs> 